it's Allie over here from Breathe Country. Um, so as you can see, we're making some Haas and Pfeffer today. Recipe um, will be lo located in the blog. And I wanted to introduce my sister-in-law, Carrie. You probably saw her from the intro video, but um, just thought it'd be a good kind of in, uh, good chance to introduce her to you guys. Have you guys learned a little bit about her? <laughs> um, so yeah. Say hey, Carrie. Hi, guys. <laughs> So I wanted to just kind of have, you know, the folks be able to learn a little bit about you. So um, you are Brian's youngest sister. Yes. There cool. is five years between us, I think. About five years. Yes. Yep. And I'm um, sure you guys have some funny stories from childhood. But um, so Carrie is pretty avid with hunting as well. Do you want to give them an idea of kind of some of your favorite seasons to go out in stuff mm -hmm. like that my all-time favorite season to hunt is turkey I absolutely love turkey hunting um hands down way better than deer season I'm sorry if you're a deer hunter but I find it <laughs> I find deer hunting extremely boring and it's cold and miserable so turkey season's my thing you know you can do a lot of moving around and um kind of chase them just as much as you want them to come into you and it's a lot warmer so that's my favorite. So yes, you're definitely going to see um, some videos of Carrie and Chase. You also saw Chase from the intro video um, out when it's turkey season. Um, we're definitely going to be showcasing a lot of that content, which is great. Um, so as far as some wild game recipes, obviously you were nice enough to make some Haas and Pfeffer with me today. Yep. Other than Haas and Pfeffer, what are some of your other favorite type of wild game recipes? What do you make on a pretty regular basis? Um... I wouldn't say on a regular basis because it depends on if it's in the freezer. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, I do do a lot of stuff with deer meatloaf and using deer meat just as you would use burger, really. Um, spaghetti, that kind of stuff. And then I also really, really like deer jerky. I'm not going to say I've ever made deer jerky. I haven't, but my dad makes very, very good deer jerky. AKA Papa T. You've definitely seen him here. Yes. Yeah. And, um, like, I, it's to the point where, like, I ask them to just, you know, everybody goes for the big bucks, but I'm like, well, you just shoot a doe and make jer jerky out of it. So, <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of deer jerky. But other than that, um, I, as, as far as cooking goes, I haven't really cooked with much besides deer and rabbit, but... No, I get it. I think deer is probably one of the things that I've worked with the most. Um, I've worked with some pheasant... Um, a lot of fish, obviously, but oh, that's yeah. a little I mean, bit different. Yeah, a lot of fish. Yeah. Me and Chase, um, deep fried walleye a yep. lot. But... Which we will be showcasing a lot in the summer. It is hard right now. It is January here in Northeastern Ohio. So if we were going to go fishing, it'd be cold. I don't know. We'd have to like cut through some ice and we're a little bit lazy. So we're not going to do that. But, um trying to think Carrie fun fact I don't think a lot of you guys know this Carrie does some design work for us um, with some of the designs that we have on some of the country uh, some of our clothes over on breathe country apparel so it's kind of cool to have an artist in the family I mean she's drawn everything from deer um, bullets for us she's drawn turkey um, antlers which you'll definitely see on our nice rack t-shirt that's all this lady right here <laughs> so definitely just wanted to give you guys a brief introduction of carrie you're going to be seeing a lot more of her on breathe country and hope you enjoy the haas and pepper recipe that we made let us know obviously questions comments um we hope you guys try it it's a staple at almost yeah, every single I mean, family gathering we have our family goes um it's like a tradition they go rabbit hunting every thanksgiving morning mm -hmm. and they have to shoot a rabbit to make the haas and pfeffer <laughs> for thanksgiving meal or else yours truly gets pretty upset with them but i don't i don't even actually go rabbit hunting with them usually i'm helping my mom but um it, all the all the boys go and it's it's pretty tragic if they don't come back without a rabbit, so. Oh, yeah, there's uh, there's been a lot of smack talk, a lot of, what do you mean we're not having Haas and Pfeffer? Yeah. So, it's a staple It's at actually kind of gotten to the point, I think, where my dad just keeps extra in the freezer just for Thanksgiving <laughs> Day on the off chance that they don't bring any back, um, which I'm not going to say I'm spoiled, but... <laughs> spoiled but that's okay because obviously it's always good to have some wild game on hand 
I know that at least for us, it's a lot easier a lot of times having that than having to go to the grocery store or something like that. Don't get me wrong, we don't exclusively only eat wild game, um, but it's always kind of a nice something extra to have. Um, what I else? Don't think well, she didn't say, but Chase is actually my boyfriend. So when we oh. talk about Chase, yes. that's my boyfriend. Um, but I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> totally get it. Yeah, so uh, you'll be seeing him from time to time. He does work a lot. Um, that's where he is now on this wonderfully blustery Saturday. He's out working. Otherwise, he would be here with us as well. But and probably actually be making him film everything. But True. So he's probably actually glad he's at work. Maybe. I don't know. It's snowing. So, <laughs> so it's like 50-50. Which does he want to do? Yeah, he, yeah, I mean, he works outside. He's a, um, a lineman for the power company. So snowing and cold conditions aren't exactly his favorite thing. So... But he's used I, it's to probably it. a toss up, I guess. Yes. But. but in any case, we just wanted to hop on here, say a quick hello. Obviously, we hope you try the recipe. Let us know. We want to hear all of your feedback. And if you have some really cool recipes, please share them. We are always looking for new things to try and just kind of have that sense of community like we were talking about. So have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.